today we're going to be talking to Pastor Dave Pritchard, who has been evangelizing on the streets for over 30 years by spreading the good news of Jesus Christ on the streets of his hometown of Cardiff, but has also missioned to over 23 countries around the world. For seven years, Pastor Dave and his team have been carrying out hot dog evangelism by giving out 22,000 hot dogs for 45 weeks of the year. Each hot dog giveaway is a preach to a party goer. Pastor Dave and his team have been street pastoring for 12 winters, 100 nights, and have brought 6,323 lives to Christ. He is here now today to share how easy it is for the average Christian to connect with thousands of people every year and see how the gospel can impact so many lives with amazing results. Pastor Dave, how are you doing? Welcome. I'm doing great, thank you, wonderful. Excellent, thank you so much for joining us. Now, Pastor Dave, if you can just give us an insight into your background, where your journey began, uh, where your journey began with Christ, and how God has put it on your heart to go out into the street and evangelize. Yes, indeed. My, my um, short-term uh, well-practiced testimony has a lot of H's in it. I was an unhappy hippie heading for Helen Heroin wow. and met him I've been happy ever since. <laughs> and uh, no evangelist ever, ever um, approached me. And the Lord Jesus stood in front of me in 1979 in a house meeting. I, was, uh, I went to really wind the Christians up. And uh, as he pr opened in prayer and called on the name of the Lord, he said, Dear Lord, thank you for Dave being here tonight and Liam, my mate. Um, I heard an echo, David! And I looked up under my hairy hippie afro and jesus was standing right in front of me <laughs> wow. and uh, he was saying i love you i love you and i couldn't agree with him because i thought i'm so horrible and then i just thought yeah lord forgive me don't kill me please forgive me come on in and whack got rushed got saved and that was 42 years ago never had a moment without his presence amen give us an insight into street evangelism and why it's important for us to be going out and reaching out to these lost souls and reaching out to everyday people maybe they've never heard about jesus christ and also do you have any particular testimonies that come to come to your side of what you've witnessed during this time yeah brilliant just that by the time we finish this afternoon i can guarantee you we'll have seen at least a minimum of five decisions 20 years ago i would have been i'm recording 20 decisions so the bookends of understanding in the population um there's a new form of so, sort of subliminal um atheism connected to consumerism uh, you know oh you're a christian that's stupid good for you then but so there's it's a very subtle change and challenge, but as we start to preach this afternoon, it'll really st it starts to buzz, and we use um, we use a lot of literature. We use beautiful tracks, and we probably do. Um, we've done forty five thousand tracks this year. We've seen tremendous testimonies and results of that. One got as far as Uganda in wow. a pocket testimony, and I say to the posh suits, "Come on, read it during your boring." meetings with your perrier water well he just to shut me up he probably put it in his jacket pocket and uh, gave it to oxfam the jacket got to oxfam uganda Kampala. the wow. guy in the shop took it out the jacket got absolutely struck fell on his knees weeping led his went back to his family led seven to the lord back at home <laughs> and they rushed to the neighbors and led six so 15 got born again of one piece of literature Amen. Now, Pastor Dave, uh, what advice would you give to anyone watching us today who may have lost their hope and does not know about Jesus Christ? What advice would you give to them? Oh, absolutely awesome. The Lord Jesus is waiting for every single human being on the planet. And it's the Word of God, the Bible, our Bible says, and uh, even if they're strangers to the Bible, here's a beautiful instruction. The Lord is not far from anyone, even if it's paper thin far away. And we were in a, a restaurant last night and tried to lead a little um, waitress to the Lord and she was so close to coming in. I'll go home, say that prayer. So my advice is call upon him. He's so there, so waiting, so anticipating. Everything of God is pulling humanity. It, um, as C.S. Lewis says, it's his bigger, the main drive of God is to win the world. 
um, from the from the cross and the ascension to his Christ. And um, just so beautiful that anybody who calls upon Jesus, he's re- with seriousness, not Walt Disney style, not Mickey Mouse style, but call him with seriousness. Um, Jeremiah 29 then, whosoever calls upon him all their heart, I will answer and ask him to forgive. We need it and come on in and invite the Holy Spirit to come and live. The Holy Spirit don't want to live in a rat's nest. He wants to come and live in the cleansed heart. That's awesome. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Just yeah. want to say, Pastor Dave Pritchard, Street Evangelist, thank you so much for joining us. Take care and God bless you, brother. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you.